Hey, this is a sub Arctic beekeeper. It is mid-September, north of Fairbanks, Alaska. And it's a gorgeous day. I think it's one of the last warm days we're gonna have. It's 43 degrees above zero. The nights are getting down to 20 degree Fahrenheit range. Everything depends on the weather. Every single thing, every day. I'm taking hives that are still two boxes, two deeps. And they're still two deeps because there were so many bees in them. And I also wanted these gigantic hives to produce more stores on the frames than the, what they would need since they're such high producing hives. I'm in the most unwelcoming hive I've ever had. Every time I move my hands or something, they go for my face. I'm sure that I've been stung a few times. These are old world carniolians. Some tough bees. They've done great for me this summer. First time I've ever had them. Can you hear them? They're attacking the phone. So I'm bringing them down to one box because they'll be warmer that way. Doing it now means the bees won't be so shocked by the temperature. There are so many bees in this hive. So, so many, which is wonderful. The bigger the colony, the better the survival rate. So I'm trying to do this a little bit. I want to make this go as fast as possible, but as calm as possible. Rolling the bees off the frames with my bee brush just takes too long with this colony. I just need to get them in and and move on to the next hive. I've got one more hive to do. This hive has no love at all for me. None. All the other hives, chill. This one, no bueno. I've got the smoke going because I have to. I've already been stung three times in the last two minutes. I don't want to do this. Have you ever felt that way about your colonies? They sting like they're from the old country. None of these sissy, happy stings. No, this is a sting to let you know you gotta leave the country and don't come back. There is no mistake in their intention. They're not headbutting. They're not warning me. I don't want to do this, but I have to. This one's gonna make it. These colonies that are defensive or protective, depending on how you think about it. These tough hives make it. I gotta follow through. Gotta complete the mission. I've got lots of birch leaves on the ground and I'm gonna use those to keep my smoker going. I'm also using moose poop and spruce cones. This second deep that's on the top is full of stores which is great but it's heavy super heavy I don't want to bump them down. I want to roll them because bumping them down just gets all of them worked up. Rolling them gets them all worked up. I'm just going to finish up. This hive could probably go into winter in two boxes, but I'm not taking a chance. It's not worth it. $250 a piece for a box of bees. This one I'm getting my money's worth. It's produced, I don't know, four, five splits and over 30 frames of honey in our very short season. I've got quite a few old world carniolian or OWC queens, which is great. Good genetics. Good for wintering. If you want friendly bees, go for the Italians or the Buckfast. It's important up here that we select bees for their genetics, which means do they produce tight clusters? Do they produce a lot of propolis? Will they seal up all the little drafty spots in the hive? Do they know when to put up stores? Does their queen regulate her brood production with pollen availability? I think most do. But I know this one, this breed in particular, is known for that. This queen, I was about to say I'd like to meet her, but you know what, I don't think I do. Let's leave her doing her thing. She knows what she's doing. I'm gonna squirt some more syrup on these frames, just on the tops so where there are no bees. And there's not much space here. I'm dribbling it so that they can pay more attention to the delicious drizzly spray than me. They're hungry. 
we haven't had any natural sources of pollen for weeks. I'm seeing baby bees and mature bees. This is a good sign. I've got three more frames, four more frames in this box. I bet that they produced another queen. There are so many bees in here. I need to stop talking and, and be doing this because I've got one more box to do before nightfall and the temperature is going to drop. I hope you're having a good autumn and taking care of yourself. Take care of your bees. This podcast is copyrighted and all rights reserved. <laughs>